Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As we all know, due to changes in the external environment, chip foundries like TSMC and Samsung have lost the ability to freely ship to the outside world. Faced with widespread supply cuts to the chip industry, Chinese companies have begun developing independent chip supply chains, expanding production capacity through imported equipment, and gradually transitioning to domestically produced equipment. However, with the new round of US chip control measures, not only has the US banned the export of advanced AI chips to China, but advanced semiconductor equipment from the Netherlands and Japan has also been subject to strict controls. Faced with this situation, China Electronics Technology Group Corporation, CETC, General Manager Wang Ping issued an appeal at the annual Semiconductor Equipment Conference, and ASML began to face unexpected challenges. It is understood that the development of domestically produced semiconductor equipment in China is primarily constrained by the monopoly and suppression of European and American giants. Technically, ASML of the Netherlands has applied for a large number of patents in China, making it difficult for newcomers to achieve technological breakthroughs in this field. At the same time, ASML's exports of some low- and mid-range semiconductor equipment to China have captured market share, making it difficult for domestic equipment manufacturers to secure orders in this field. To this end, Wang Ping, General Manager of China Electronics Technology Group Corporation, CETC, issued two appeals, stating that the country should effectively utilize tariff policies to protect the development ecosystem of domestically produced equipment. He argued that Trump's tariffs are still in effect, and that after decades of development, China's semiconductor industry still has a significant technological gap with advanced international standards. However, in mature process areas, Chinese companies' equipment has transitioned from being usable to being highly effective. Therefore, China should impose high tariffs on imported similar equipment to protect its own industry. The second appeal calls on Chinese leaders to strengthen planning regarding key components for semiconductor equipment. For companies to ensure supply chain security, promoting independent control of key components is essential. Wang Ping believes that companies are relatively small, lack technical verification, and are relatively short on personnel and funding. The layout of relevant key components should begin with top-level planning and then, through systematic advancement and capital investment, jointly drive value growth across China's semiconductor equipment industry chain. The implication is that domestic resources must be consolidated, and a national effort approach must be adopted to address the situation of being controlled by others in the semiconductor industry. This has led to an unexpected situation for ASML. First, the call by Wang Ping, general manager of China Electronics Technology Group Corporation, is likely to become a consensus in the domestic semiconductor equipment industry in the future. Currently, with imported equipment and components at the mercy of others, Chinese companies can only achieve self-sufficiency in the high-end chip industry chain by strengthening independent research and development. As China's national strategy continues to deepen, the blockade of relevant chip equipment and technologies will gradually be broken. At that time, ASML's equipment exports to China will face high tariffs, leading to a stalemate in the development of its chip equipment business. Second, ASML is merely a chip equipment company, and its sales to China remain subject to regulatory control from both the US and Dutch leadership. While Chinese companies are accelerating their breakthrough in developing their own chip equipment, ASML will be unable to ship more advanced chip equipment to the Chinese market, inevitably leading to its market share being gradually replaced by domestically produced equipment. At that point, Chinese companies will be able to export large quantities of semiconductor equipment to overseas markets through mature and controllable supply chains. Not only will ASML be unable to capture the high-end market in China, but its share of overseas markets will also be impacted. Lin Yifu previously publicly stated that senior management at ASML 
in the Netherlands, also expressed concerns about China's breakthrough in the lithography equipment business. Based on past experience, once Chinese companies successfully achieve technological breakthroughs in related fields, they often seize overseas markets with lower prices and comprehensive after-sales systems. Faced with the high-quality and affordable Chinese products, established European and American industry giants have been unable to mount an effective counterattack. Now, it seems that what was supposed to happen has finally arrived. The development of Chinese semiconductor equipment has become a key area of national and corporate planning. The call issued by the general manager of China Electronics Technology Group Corporation, CETC, echoes the concerns of many companies and provides a necessary reference path for the Chinesization of semiconductor equipment. Currently, domestically produced Chinese semiconductor equipment has begun to enter production in chip production lines. For example, North Huachuang has become the world's sixth largest semiconductor equipment company, designing and manufacturing a variety of semiconductor equipment, including etching machines, lithography machines, and thin film coating machines. Chinese chip foundry SMIC has begun gradually adopting domestically produced equipment in its production lines replacing previously imported equipment for chip foundry production. As one sector grows while the other shrinks, the development of China's chip equipment industry will enter a fast lane. Coupled with increasing policy support, even if foreign companies like ASML refuse to provide advanced semiconductor equipment to Chinese companies. Within 5 to 10 years, China's domestically produced semiconductor equipment will be able to solve the production challenges of advanced chips. Furthermore, China has already developed a 7 nanometer process equivalent to DUV lithography. This means that once DUV lithography technology is mastered, over 90% of the market demand for chip products can be met through domestic foundry services. The restrictions imposed by the United States on companies like ASML in the Netherlands are emulating the Qing dynasty's policy of isolation. The belief is that as long as a country is strong enough, it can close its market and conduct business behind closed doors. However, little is known, any breakthrough in the technology industry is inseparable from a globalized operating model and international communication. The door the United States closes today may cost dozens of times more to open in the future. ASML's executives are well aware of this, which is why they have repeatedly publicly questioned US regulatory measures and applied to export more advanced lithography systems to Chinese companies. ASML's statements have not garnered sufficient attention in the US. This provides ample reason for China to support the development of semiconductor equipment. What are your thoughts on this? Feel free to leave a comment and discuss.